Hey, this is Kevin with Motivational Med, and today I'm going to talk about how to cram with Anki. Now, if you've been using Anki for a while, this probably sounds a little bit crazy to you because Anki is traditionally used for long-term memory retention. However, there's some ways to cram for exams, and in medical school, we all have to cram once in a while, right? Um, so here's the three tactics that I use. The first is preview mode, the second is selective unsuspending, and the third is flags. So if I close out of here, what's preview mode? Well, normally to see what's in a card from the browser, so you get to the browser by clicking this, um, normally you would have to go down here and look at the card, you know? Um, you would have to see it right here. But if you click this button right here, preview, it's a nice way to just read what's on the card. And if you have show both sides selected, then you can really just read the card. And this is nice because you don't always want to actually do the card and be jamming that space bar. Sometimes like in a couple of days before the exam, it's nice to just read cards um, and just see them and test yourself on that knowledge. Now, the next thing I like to do is selectively unsuspend cards. Now you can see here, I have some cards unsuspended. Um, so I'll show you what that does in a second, but everything else is in yellow, which means it is suspended. So to unsuspend a card, you just right click and you click toggle suspend. Alternately, you can um, select a card and then press J or command J um, and it'll toggle that suspend. And what that does is that even though you have a deck with like 2000 cards, right? You can go here and you'll only see a couple right, the ones that I've unsuspended. So I like that because, you know, a lot of people, they'll just have this mindset that they need to unsuspend a whole deck. But the fact of the matter is, if you studied that topic before, like acute myocardial infarction, you may not need to use all of these cards. In fact, if you do use cards that you already know, it's actually a bit of a negative because you are wasting your energy and time, especially before cramming for an exam. Now the final tactic I like to use is to use flagging. And I love flagging because it's a really nice way to curate what is basically a study guide. So how do you, how do you flag? So you find a card that you believe that you don't know. Okay, so maybe I don't know this. And you right click, you go to flag, and you select one of these flags. So I'll do the red flag. And if you do this enough times, um, you can also do command one. Um, then you can create a little bit of a study guide. And then if I go up here and I type flag colon one and then enter, you get a nice study guide here with only the cards that you don't totally have grasp on. And this is nice to create um, the night before the exam or maybe two days before the exam so that you can just have a final cram session for yourself. Um, I especially like doing this with pre-made decks or Anki decks that classmates have made. It's If you've been studying board material with class material, it's nice to do this through a class deck and select only those cards that don't overlap with board's materials. All right, that's it. Um, thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful. And if you like that, please leave a like below um, and comment and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Good luck.